Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. Today I am talking about my Cezanne collection and I am ranking all of my items from best to worst. If I talked about every single item, we could be here all day, but I'm breaking it into categories and just talking about the category of items that I think Cezanne do really well. And then also the category of items that I think aren't as special and maybe aren't worth the price tag as well. In terms of Cezanne pricing, I kind of consider them in that premium high street category where they're more expensive than fast fashion, but they're not quite your contemporary designer prices either. One of the biggest criticisms that I see of Cezanne is that they do use a fair amount of synthetics. And if you guys watch any of my videos, you know that I don't like polyester, I don't like wearing it, I don't like anything about it really. So if I see something on Cezanne's website that is polyester, I pretty much just do not add it to my car and do not purchase it. Everything I'm showing you today is predominantly a natural fiber, so cotton, silk, wool, what, whatnot. And there are some of the knitwear options especially where you do see a bit of a synthetic blend, but we'll talk more about that later. Lastly, and probably the most important, is that I love Cezanne's aesthetic. They often do very classic styles, but they also have like a feminine touch to most of their pieces. You know, lots of beautiful prints, ruffle detailing. I absolutely love their design and that is one of the reasons why I do go back to them season after season. As you can probably tell, there are a lot of Cezanne pieces here and there's also knitwear on this chair, so let's get into the video, otherwise we'll be here all day. My first favourite is definitely their knitwear and the knitwear is a very good example of being hit and miss because they have some knitwear that is super super soft and just so comfortable on and they have some knitwear that is scratchy. So I am going to talk about my favourite options first. And these are what I consider the best items from Cezanne. Any of Cezanne's knits that have a big percentage of merino wool in them, I find ultra soft. So I've got this one as a good example. This is a striping knit and the white material on this knit is made from 100% merino wool. The navy is synthetic, but because I feel like more than 50%, probably like 60 or 70% is white, it is just an ultra soft sweater and I have to say it's just such beautiful quality. The reason why I love Cezanne knitwear is that they have the two things that I usually look for when it comes to knitwear in general. So firstly, their styles are really unique. They don't just do your crew neck, your v-neck. They actually have really cute designs. This one's a really chunky cable knit and it's got these tortoise shell buttons which I think is really beautiful. And secondly, they still have a really beautiful composition to them. I know I know it's not perfect and it's not 100% wool, but I also think that at the price point, I am actually just very happy, especially compared to like so many brands out there. I think they actually do a good job. This knit is 70% merino wool, and this one is actually a short sleeve, so I wear it on my bare skin, and I just find that this is ultra soft. I've never had an issue with like scratching, and I just think this is a really beautiful, very beautiful and soft sweater. My second favourite is the Gaspard knit and this one I love because it has 74% wool and it is one of the softest knits I think Cezanne do. It's also one of their most popular options and I feel like a lot of Cezanne lovers absolutely adore this style. You can wear it both ways and just adds a little bit more versatility to this piece. If someone wanted recommendations on what to purchase from Cezanne, I think the Gaspard knit is definitely one of the first things I would recommend. I love the quality and it's also very simple so that it goes with a lot of different pieces. I would recommend going for a colour or a darker shade because the white version, you can kind of see through it a little bit, which I don't love. But with their coloured and their darker versions, I think you just can't go wrong. The next best item Cezanne do are their cotton knits. It all has that kind of beautiful lace crocheted kind of texture to it, which I think is super beautiful. One of my most worn sweaters is the Cezanne Leontine, and this is the cotton blend knit. I find that this is actually really comfortable to wear. It's very boxy, it's very simple to throw on and go, and the design with the stripes, the buttons, I think is very chic as well. We've also got this khaki version, and it's got these ruffles on the shoulder, I just love the lace work and the ruffle details on some of these knits and I just think it's super beautiful. I purchased this knit about a year ago and I think Cezanne is doing a very very similar version just in a slightly different colour. And very quickly we've got this white cardigan as well. This one is in 100% cotton which I feel like Cezanne does do quite often. And once again reversible so you can wear it as a cardigan and you can also wear it as a pullover with a slightly lower back. 
ultra cute buttons and they just have such good attention to detail. Another one of my favorite things about the brand. Next up, one of my favorite pieces is the Willa jacket. And I think I mentioned in my last video actually, in my Spring Essentials video, if you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. I mentioned that video, but the Willa jacket has become such a staple in my wardrobe. I love wearing these in the spring, in the autumn, and I love how chic these feel and just how simple and classic they are. I've had the blue one for quite a long time in my wardrobe and I very recently just picked up the white one. I'll bring these up closer so you can kind of see some details. The white one has brown stitching, which I think looks really good. And the blue one's got the tortoise shell buttons as well, which I think looks super nice. I think the Willow jacket is a very good example of why people love Cezanne. They do basic pieces that you can wear again and again, but there is a bit of a twist to them. There's a lot of attention to detail, and I think that it's one of the reasons why the people who do love Cezanne love the brand. My next favorite are Cezanne's bodycon dresses. In terms of material, these are about 75% viscose and the rest is synthetic. So there's a bit of improvement there to be made. Um, the green one is made from Eco Vero, so it's a little bit of a more sustainable viscose. I just think these dresses are so incredibly flattering on. They are my favorite dresses from Cezanne. They pretty much cover my entire going out evening wardrobe. If I'm going out at night to a bar or even like to dinner, I'll probably be reaching for one of the two dresses because it's just so flattering, so comfortable, keeps me warm at night, but it still looks kind of fancy and I adore these options. Another reason I like these is that they definitely work as like day to night pieces. With the black one, I often wear it to the office with like a blazer over the top. And then for evening, you can definitely just kind of take off the blazer and you have your evening out look. Next up, I think one of the best things that Cezanne do are their printed pieces. Starting with the favorites, these are the silk options or the silk blend. This skirt is 100% silk and it's another one of those pieces from Cezanne that you'll see me wear again and again. Because it's silk, it has a beautiful drape to it. 100% because of the material and the print, one of my favorite pieces. This is another dress that you guys actually seem to really like. This print feels quite unique, which I love. It's got that beautiful blue and red. I think this dress is a really good example of Cezanne's prints being quite unique. And even though, to be honest, it's just a dainty floral, I love the color combination and the print is just a lot more unique than some of the other brands I see out there. This is something from a couple of years ago, 100% silk and honestly I don't think I need to say more. It's gorgeous, gorgeous print, gorgeous style and very beautiful and light to wear. This top um, is 80% cotton, 20% silk so not a lot of silk in there but it's got the best of both worlds as it is very easy to care for with the cotton and it's just got a little bit of luxury a little bit of a silky feeling to the piece as well. You can probably tell that because it's a lighter piece that it is quite sheer. Um, you can see the black hanger in it very, very well. I will always wear a nude bra and I think with a nude bra, it's fine. Next up in prints, we have cotton prints and this is another one that I tend to gravitate towards. Cotton prints for me are very easy to care for, easy to wear and then you just throw them in the wash and just all round, kind of low maintenance. I really love this cotton top and it's got polka dots, which I love. We've got this dainty floral print on a white blouse. Here is the top up close and as you can probably tell, really good attention to detail, really small lace detailings. Love the floral print. And because this is a white color, it's actually got two layers to it um, to make it more opaque. And lastly, we've got this khaki printed top. And this is from the new Cezanne Spring Collection, but I am actually going to return this because I don't like the way it fits on me. The shoulder ruffles are too dramatic and I feel like I often return Cezanne tops because it's got like big shoulder ruffles and it's normally hard to tell on the website because they have the worst photos whether this fabric is going to kind of drape down on the shoulder or whether it's going to be quite stiff and stand up. I am still thinking about something else in this print. It is such a beautiful print. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of this particular style top. And then the last category of prints are my viscose options. And I definitely prefer my silk or my cotton versions to viscose. However, I will say that I think viscose from Cezanne does wash and wear very well. I throw these in the washing machine and I've never had a problem with any kind of shrinking or with anything, to be honest. So they are very durable. The only reason I am putting these last is that it doesn't have that luxurious feeling as some of the other pieces 
have. This is a print that I adore. It's a navy print with like a red, yellow and green print. This is a pair of shorts and it's got a frill to it so it kind of looks like a mini skirt which is ultra cute. This is a print that they are currently doing and they also have it in like a midi skirt and in a couple of other pieces as well. These skirts are called the Alicia skirt and they're both viscose. Being completely honest, these two prints are not my favourite. Um, I think I like this one definitely a little bit more because it feels quite autumnal. This on the other hand does feel like an explosion of different colours. I do definitely still reach for it right now but Compared to some other Cezanne prints, I think this is not my favourite. I think these are both quite large prints and I do think that I gravitate a little bit more to something a little bit more dainty. And I think that might actually be the reason why I'm not as obsessed with these two skirts as something like this one. Speaking of large prints, um, this is a large print but this is actually something that I absolutely adore. I love the colours on this. This electric blue magenta kind of colour palette. I just think it's so incredibly beautiful and striking. So my last piece is this viscose dress and it's a mini dress and if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think I've gotten that much wear from it. I think the biggest issue is that I don't always get along with mini dresses and there is a few that I like but I think that this one just, I don't love it enough to justify keeping it. Something else that ranks on the best list are my Cezanne silk pieces. So I've got two of the Paloma camis and I think these are super classic. One of the things that I hear a lot is that the lace kind of starts to show wear. I've had both of these for a couple of years now and hopefully you can tell that it is intact although there is some very minor fraying at parts. But for the most part I'm very happy with these, they're super classic, very versatile and I just love that little bit of lace detailing as I say every time I mention them. And then with the other silk shirts, this is where we're starting to see hit and miss. Because with the Chloe shirt, it's a very beautiful um, washed silk material. It feels quite thick and substantial and just something that is very high in quality. On the other hand, I also have this silk shirt and it's not terrible but it is much rougher when you feel it. It's more of that satin kind of silk. And I do also have one small pull on the silk. At the back of the shirt, probably just um, that caught onto a bag or something. I think we're starting to get into that like hit and miss stage of Cezanne where we see you know beautiful silk pieces. We also see things like this where it's just a little bit too delicate and not high quality enough for the price point. I have two Cezanne belts in my wardrobe and I love both of these. They are such good items to have. Let me show you up close but we've got this one which is the Artemis belt. It is described as gold and I think that it's a very very light gold. And then we've also got this belt which is the fine Louvre belt and I adore this one. This one is probably my favourite. I think the Cezanne belts have really nice buckles. The buckles are quite unique and more importantly the belt itself feels very sturdy. I've never had an issue with it splitting or anything like that. After wearing this belt quite a lot since I purchased it, it is still looking brand new. And I think that's just a good sign that these belts do hold up um, and is worth the price point. The wider one can be a bit overwhelming but it's just nice to have for some styles. Whereas this thinner style I think is so pretty on whether you want to wear that with jeans or even belting it at the waistline. Next up we have a bodysuit from Cezanne and this one is 50% merino wool, 50% cotton. The material is lovely and feels ultra soft on the skin. The design is really flattering with a bit of a boat neck and then a crisscross at the back. It's got three adjustable hooks at the bottom, so you've got some kind of adjustments when it comes to the length of it. Being a bodysuit, I think that if you have a very long torso, it kind of can be tricky with sizing. So that's something to keep in mind. But otherwise, I have no complaints on this piece. Um, next up we have Cezanne linen. We have the linen t-shirt and the dress. Linen t-shirt is fabulous. The t-shirt itself I think is neat perfect, but I just think for something that is so simple, and even taking into account the fact that it's linen, it is still quite an expensive piece. But, you know, if you are looking for a high quality linen t-shirt, I really think you can't go wrong with this option either. We've also got this Zari dress and this is 51% linen, 49% cotton. Everything about this dress is very lovely. Only thing I'll say, having worn it and having styled it, is that it is quite feminine. The dress has some tiers on the bottom, so it's a mini skirt, but it's got the two tiers. And I think it makes it feel quite girly. I would recommend this dress if you do have more of a feminine style. The material is actually quite thick. The linen cotton material is quite thick. 
And then you've also got a lining on the inside, which just helps it from not being sheer. Three or four years ago now, I purchased this white top from Cezanne and it's just got lots of embroidery detailing. Very, very pretty on and this is one of those older Cezanne pieces that kind of made me fall in love with the brand and it's kind of why this whole collection happened, I guess. The only reason why I haven't put this earlier as one of the best items is that some of the newer Cezanne tops, I think are leaning a little bit more dramatic. It might have just been the last season, but I would love to see them bring out white blouses that are just a little bit more subtle when it comes to all the ruffles um, and not make it overly dramatic. This is the Fabrizio short from Cezanne, something that I wore a lot in the summer. I think the only reason I placed these so far back is that um, it is a classic and it's a classic that doesn't stand out to me as much as some of the other pieces. I think you can probably droop this elsewhere, but that being said, it is also a really nice option and I don't really have any complaints. Really good basic and just kind of a little bit less exciting than some of the other things that Cezanne do. We are getting into part two of knitwear now and over here, I want to talk about the knitwear options that maybe are not the softest, are not the most luxurious from Cezanne. I think the knits with about 60% wool and it's usually like a mohair merino blend. I find these knits not the softest. The only exception to this rule is this knit. This knit is like under 60% wool and somehow is one of the softest knits I have. So this is an exception. Other than that, I have these Tonio or Mario knits. They're very similar, but they've got the chunky buttons. This is one of my favorite styles from Cezanne, one of my most worn, another one of my most worn. And I will continue to wear this just because I adore the style. I will say the knit is nowhere near as soft as something like the Gaspard, which is why I'm placing it a little bit further back, even though it's one of my most worn pieces. On the bright side, the white version of this knit that I have is so much softer than the green version. The green version is a bit older, it's probably from two or three years ago, whereas the white one is from last year. So I do think they have improved the quality of it. This is the uh, Chills knit and this is a classic for Cezanne and once again, this one is not as soft. I would much rather a Gaspard, which is a bit more classic in style, a bit nicer in fabric, compared to something like the uh, Chills. It's also got a lot of these like fly away kind of bits. So if you wear it with the wrong thing, your whole top will be covered with this like fluff and not crazy about that either. This is probably the worst knit I have from Cezanne where it's not soft, um, it's the same texture as the Achilles, but it's also quite sheer because it's a light pink colour and I just think that this is a little bit disappointing. Next up we have the Christie blazer and this is something I purchased earlier in the year and I have worn it a lot since. So I really love this jacket and I think the style of it is really great. It's an oversized blazer look, but something that really surprised me about this is that it's not too overwhelming on my frame. So that is definitely the perks of it. The material feels quite nice. Um, the only reason why it is placed here is because I think the material composition could be a bit better. This only has 43% wool in it, 4% elastane, and then the rest is synthetic. So. It could definitely do a little bit better in that department. I actually really struggle to find brands that do blazers in 100% wool. Um, keeping the designs I like, but also using really good fabrics, I think is actually quite hard to come across. So I am overall happy with it, but there is room for improvement. So we are now at coats, and I have a black coat from Cezanne. This is the gym coat. This is a very nice coat. I think the fit is nice, the fabric is quite good, and it looks great on. The only reason it's placed this far back is that I think it's droopable. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I could find something similar at Mango and the Vasori's. And if I wanted something that was a bit more luxurious, I could go to the Curated. So, lovely, but droopable. We're kind of getting into the items that I don't care for as much now. And one of them is the Dennis jacket. Whenever I want to read for a jacket, I tend to read for the Willa. It's a bit more cropped, it's a bit more flattering than this style. The style is much longer and it does feel like it can drown me a little bit as someone who is short. If I get in quite close, you can see that it's a cotton canvas material, but it's coupled with a corduroy collar, which I think just looks super cool. It's a bit more fussy and I do really have to style it compared to Willa where I just throw it on and go. This is a top that I haven't been loving as much ever since I got my Leontine knit. Even though it's super classic, I find it a little bit restrictive under the arm area. And this is not something that 
I find only with this piece. I actually find this to be the case with a lot of bread and stripe tops just because they have that more rigid cotton material. I know they give slightly different vibes but at the same time the Leontine is still a striped piece and usually I find that I just reach for it so much more than this version. Unfortunately this hasn't gotten that much wear from me I think in the last year or so and I might be parting ways with this. The last clothing item I have to mention are Cezanne jeans. And I think in general Cezanne jeans are not exciting. I really struggle to find the style that I like. And I've actually ordered in the past their skinny jean and returned it. Because once I received it, there was just a lot of stretch to it. And I just find it very average. It felt like something I could get from Topshop. Actually, I feel like the Topshop was actually more flattering. But it just felt very boring and not worth the price point. I returned that skinny jean style and a little bit later, so only this year or last year, I purchased the Frankie jean. The reason why I purchased this is that this is quite a unique jean and actually caught my interest. It's a straight legged jean but it's um, on the skinnier side which is quite flattering. And this is the only jean I think is worth trying from Cezanne. Everything else in their collection just doesn't excite me at all. If you have tried anything that you really like, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to know. But for me personally, nothing has really kind of caught my attention. It's a very rigid denim, which I think feels a lot more high quality than the one that I had tried earlier. This jean is not bad, but Cezanne denim in general, I think not as exciting. The last item I've talked about are their shoes, and I think this is definitely the worst item that I have tried from Cezanne. And look, I tried quite a few pairs that I've also returned, so I do have a pretty good feel for the quality of their shoes. I used to have a pair of Ashley babies um, that I wore for work. I wore them for about a year and I really didn't walk in these shoes. I pretty much got to the office, put them on, walked around you know, at work and then I changed for other shoes so when I left work. In about a year, they were kind of just trashed. It was pretty much impossible to like save them I feel like because you know there was issues with the sole, you know the front of the shoe felt really scuffed, the shape of it felt a bit distorted. The entire shoe was just not in great shape, I didn't even know what to fix, to be frank. And not to mention, I think the most important thing, like even beyond those, is that it wasn't comfortable. It felt quite hard and there wasn't like a soft layer on the sole that made walking more comfortable. So that was a shoe I really didn't get along with and I would not recommend. Since then I've purchased these boots and these are the sandy boots and I love them, the style is so good. These are also not a shoe that I look at and think I'm going to keep forever. Granted I've worn these shoes a lot but if you look at the front of the shoe it's just literally got a piece of leather that's missing. For me this doesn't happen with my really high quality shoes. I very rarely get like a huge piece of leather that just kind of comes off. Um, so for me that's not a good sign of the quality. And while it's still not the worst shoe I've tried, I just don't think that it justifies the price point and you can get better shoes out there, so I think that in the future I probably won't be recommending any more Cezanne shoes. I've also had some of their sandals come in which I returned because in general I think that their shoes are just not as good as a lot of other brands out there and not worth the price point. If you guys have tried anything from Cezanne, I would love to know what your top 3 items are and if you haven't tried anything, let me know if you have anything on your wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see some of these Cezanne pieces styled, head over to my Instagram. I oftentimes will share outfit ideas featuring these pieces. I also have a blog where I do some reviews of the popular Cezanne items as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye!